Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zulu Entertainment, wishing a happy one year anniversary of Axel Zulu Entertainment. This is insane, I can't believe it's been an entire year since my first ever video on YouTube. But I think in honor of this, we should have a little recap of the entire year that we had. So, I have been YouTubing for a year, exactly one year plus one week ago because I forgot about the anniversary, so I'm a week late. But March the 2nd, 2015, I released my first ever YouTube video, uh, Minecraft Planetary Confinement. I remember I'd always wanted to make a YouTube channel. I was inspired by all my favorite gaming channels. Back then, I'd only watched YouTube for about a year, so I was only watching a few YouTubers. Now I watch over a hundred different YouTubers. Uh, and I was watching Thanks Sia, a Minecraft YouTuber, and he was doing a Minecraft map called Planetary Confinement, which it was a vanilla 1.8 map, because 1.8 was kind of new back then. And uh, what it did was you were stuck on a desert planet where you had to wear a spacesuit not to suffocate in space and stuff like that. And you had to go on an adventure repairing your spaceship and getting new items and stuff. It was pretty interesting. Well, let's just say my uh, adventure through it kind of sucked. Uh, it's not even available on YouTube anymore. I've un made the videos unlisted because they're just awful. Maybe someday I'll release all of my horrible videos in like a special video saying watch the lost videos of Axel Zulie Entertainment. But I'm not sure. Uh, so that was uh, pretty awful. I only did two episodes before I was like, screw it, I don't want to do this on in in YouTube anymore, and I just gave up. And so I just did gaming and stuff, and my gaming videos were really horrible, like extremely bad. So much that after a few months, I actually decided to give up on YouTube temporarily for the entire summer. You remember the entire summer of 2015, those who were with me back then, I only posted like two videos the entire summer, and it was just awful. But at the end of the summer, I was like, Get it together, Axel! You need to do this! And I was like, I am bad at gaming. I, uh, I'll probably still do some gaming, but I do not want to be banana slime anymore. I am being reborn from the asses uh, of being gone for an entire summer of no videos. Well, like two videos. So I decided to rebrand myself, and I made myself Axel Zuli Entertainment. So, it was brilliant. I started doing more gaming videos, but I kind of got in a rut for a second time. It's because I lost inspiration. When it comes to YouTube, my motto is that you've always got to be inspired to do YouTube, and you've always got to have fun doing YouTube. You don't do YouTube just to do YouTube. You do YouTube because it's fun. So, for a time, I actually considered quitting YouTube entirely, but then I was like, maybe I'll just not make as many gaming videos anymore. And stop, I was trying to pump out at least three, two to three gaming videos a week, but I could never think of what to do, which is why abominations like my Mindplex Madness series and my, uh, my ill-fated uh, Rival King series appeared. And so they were pretty horrible, and I just was like, no, I need to think of something else to do. And that's when I started doing non-gaming videos, and I tur it turns out it's a million times more fun not to do gaming videos for me. Like, now I have Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, Axel's Dubs, uh, uh, Unboxings, and all of that. And they are so fun to do. I still do Stranded, but I'm going to do Stranded less now because I'm kind of moving away from it. I've been getting a tiny bit tired of Minecraft because I literally played it every day for almost a year. So I'm taking kind of a break from it for now. Uh, I'll probably post uh, more episodes of Stranded. I just need to think of more things to do. But uh, after I became... Back to the recap of the year. After I became Axel, there was the Age of Axel gameplay and then the Age of Axel non-gameplay, which we are in right now. And this is the best the channel's ever been. And I am so happy. I cannot believe how far I've gotten. I've gotten 34 subscribers and almost 2,200 views. It is just amazing. It's just insane in the membrane. Ooh. I never expected I'd get for more, more than like 10 subscribers, much less 34. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And I'm really glad all of you guys are here. But the important thing isn't just reflecting on the past. Reflecting on the past is important, but the most important thing about thinking about the past is deciding what you're going to do in the future. And I have been coming up with a lot of stuff for the future. Lately, I've been extremely inspired to do this stuff. And I have come up with some good ideas. 
now for my ideas of the future. So I really like doing the style of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews, and most of you like it. It's like my second most popular series on my channel behind Timelines and Theories. That's by far my most popular series, which will never end. <laughs> Speaking of, there'll probably be another episode coming out next week. It was supposed to come out today, but as you can see, this this is coming out today. Oh, yeah, so just wait one more week, people. If you're just here to see popular MMOs, stuff like that, just wait one week, and you will get it. Exact. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it'll be exactly one week till the next episode comes out as of the release of today's video. But I really like doing Mayhem's Question Reviews, so I thought, how can I do that more? And my idea is, I'm going to try to review many more different animated series. Like, there are many series that I am considering doing. I don't have Netflix anymore, because my parents got rid of it, because we got DirecTV. And for some reason, they think DirecTV is better than Netflix. But... I'm working on trying to get, like, maybe them on DVD or something. Uh, we don't really have an Amazon account either, and I really like to have the physical media, so I'm trying to get some DVDs of cartoons and stuff for me to review. So what might be I, uh, what might I be reviewing? Uh, do I even English today? Well, some things that I definitely plan on uh, reviewing is I am almost definitely going to be reviewing Invader Zim. That's one of my favorite animated TV shows of all time, and I love Invader Zim, so I'm gonna go through and review every episode, and it'll be Axel's Invasion! <laughs> but what else will you do? Uh, maybe doing? Uh, I've got many ideas for tons of animated series I could review. Uh, another candidate that'll almost definitely be happening within the next few months is Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, I... Don't get angry at me, but I personally have not ever seen Avatar The Next Airbender. I was uh, kind of protected as a child, and uh, I thought it, my parents didn't really think it was going to be that good for me, so I never was really able to watch it, but I've heard from many people that it's one of the best series of all time, uh, animated-wise, and it's just really, really good. So I really want to go and watch it. So... That I'm really excited about that. And we've got many other things, uh, animated series I'm thinking of reviewing. There's lots of stuff I could review. I could review tons of different series. Leave me some other suggestions. I had some more things I was going to mention in this video, but actually, I can't think of them off the top of my head. I've completely forgotten the other thing. Oh, yeah, Kids Next Door. I'm thinking of uh, reviewing every episode of Kids Next Door. That's definitely most likely you're going to get done at some point in the future, and there's many other series. I'll tell you if I remember any while I'm recording. But the biggest announcement is I plan on making a brand new series entirely. Not gameplay, not a review, but something completely different. And I'm actually probably working on it right now if one of my friends pulls through for me with some things I need for the show. So, you may know I am a big fan of the YouTuber I Hate Everything. So, I really am inspired by I Hate Everything. He's a really cool guy, and I've always wanted to do some videos like his. So I thought, <laughs> maybe I'll make a parody of his series. <laughs> and so I announced my newest series, which should be coming someday very soon, as soon as I can get it, the first episode complete. I love everything! Hooray! Because one day I was just thinking to myself, hmm, well, I hate everything seems to hate everything, and that's very odd. Hey, he's like, I hate that. And I'm like, wait, I actually quite like that. And he's like, I hate that. And then I'm like, I actually quite like that. And after watching so many episodes, I'm like, do plant! Wait a second. I think I, uh, he hates everything, but I think I might love everything. <gasps> And then the series was born! Now I will talk about in every episode about something I love. And my idea is some of the episodes are going to be based on I Hate Everything episodes. Like, uh, if he did uh, I Hate Movie Trailers, I do I Love Movie Trailers. Stuff like that. Uh, so that's one of the big plan. And then some original stuff that he hasn't done. Uh, like maybe I Love... Uh, I Love... I don't know, I don't know, something. I love hats. Let's just use that as an example. I'll talk about why I love hats, but that'll never be, that'll probably never be a topic. 
because that's an extremely stupid idea. I love hats. Can you believe that? Just like an entire like 10 minute video dedicated to why I love hats. Uh, that would be, that would be the worst thing ever to appear on YouTube. And I'd get laughed at a YouTube for being so horrible. But that's going pretty good. And another thing, I'm working on a new channel logo. That's actually the thing I need for the I Love Everything to begin. If you've seen a new channel logo, or you know, more likely on this side, uh, if you see up uh, that I have a new channel logo, that means I hate every no I love everything is on the way because I need that new logo for I love everything. That's uh, saying I really need because <laughs> you should see my old logo. If my old logo's gone, this is what it looked like, and uh, it's just awful. Oh my gosh, can you see this thing? It is like, uh, I actually drew it in Google Draw because I have no artistic ability. Uh, but oh my gosh, uh, it's just awful. Oh my, it just hurts to look at it. It's such an eyesore. When I first finished it, I was actually quite proud of it because I was like, I never realized I was so artistic. I always thought I was the least artistic person on the earth, but I actually made something that's not like vomit. But after looking at it for like six months... Uh, it's just vomit to me now. I really need to get it actually done. My friend is an amazing artist. Uh, he may join me on the channel sometime. It, uh, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, his uh, name is M. Uh, so, the masked Illuminati badger. <laughs> uh, so, I think that it could, it, the future for this channel seems extremely bright. But when it comes down all to this, I could do none of this if it wasn't for you. You guys are always inspiring me. You're always pushing me to do better work, faster, better, stronger, smarter. But without you, I would be nothing, and I would probably have stopped YouTube a while ago because you guys are my inspiration. And this window is my, like, bane of my existence because it's making my skin look all white and I look like a vampire. But, of course, thank you to all of you, the 34 subscribers I have. I could not have done any of this without you. I'm really looking forward to this next year. I can't wait till we get to our two-year anniversary, and I wonder how many, uh, like, how good my videos will be by then. Probably not much better than they are now. But... Uh, so hopefully, this is going to be the best year yet for Axel Azuli Entertainment. I'm looking forward to what's coming to the future. What other things do you want to go uh, see in the future? You guys are very important to me, and I value your opinion over pretty much anything else. So leave a comment saying what you want to see in the future. I'm really happy to have been doing this. It's just, this has been one of the best years of my life. I just love doing this. It's just so fun. And, well, that's all I have to say. What do you think of this last year? Have you, do you prefer the old me? Because I personally don't really. Do you like my new videos? Do uh, you feel uh, that I should do more stranded custom Minecraft survival or less? Because I see it's not super popular anymore. It used to be the most popular uh, series on my channel, but now uh, Timelines and Theories is my most popular, and Mayhem's A Question Reviews is my second most popular. And kind of stranded and unboxings are kind of fighting for third. And I can't really judge uh, 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 well, uh, Axel's dubs because it's only had like... Well, actually, it's had like five episodes now. So actually, it's probably more popular and stranded. Uh, it's actually gotten more views. But most of them are mine because I'm an egotistical maniac who just likes listening to his own voice 24-7, 365. Uh... But, I don't know, what do you guys want to see? I'm really happy this year is going to be the best year. I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to get out of here. And until next time, I'm Axel. We're on Axel Azuli for over a year now. And goodbye.